gaining data-driven insights into customers have become a necessity for enterprises to keep pace with changing trends and customer demands. Let us check out this demo video and learn how enterprises can gain true insights into customers through Zoho CRM and Microsoft Dynamics Business Central integration with AppSy Connect. Let's check out the demo video. Hello everyone, today we are going to take a look how AppSy Connect helped to sync data between Zoho and Business Central. To begin with, log in to the AppSy Connect portal. Here under the process flow segment, we can see the process flow is already shared in this organization which we are going to use for this testing purpose. So if it is not present from the marketplace, you can go and here you can search with the name of the process flow package and you can install it. Now we are going back to the process flow page. Once we click this package, in the right side, all the process flow which is contained by this package will be showing here. If I want to open or any of them, in that case, in the right side, in this context menu, select the edit option. This will open the process flow. Once the process flow is loaded, select deploy option and from here, select your preferred deployment environment from choose drop down segment. So if you click on the hosted, if you can choose the cloud environment, if you click on the on-premise one, any on-premise environments are available, will be showing here. So I'm choosing the on-premise here and moving to the next. Now in the setup connection, select Zoho CRM and choose the credential from here. Once you click all the credentials which are saved will be showing here. From here, you can choose your one. Do the same for the Business Central or Navision as well. Select your credential and move into the next. Now you can move to the next and this sync and retry option will be a pop up here. You can do it automatic sync or manual sync. For automatic sync, you can set the timing every day, minute or hour basis. So if I put five minutes here, the data will synchronize for every five minutes. So in that case, you don't have to trigger or play anything. All that is synchronization will be automatically happen. So here I'm making it automatic and finish this process. As you can see, the process flow has been deployed. Now I'm going to execute that. For executing, I'm going to synchronize the sales order here. So I already have synchronized account and contact from Zoho CRM to Business Central. So the same account will be available in both sides. Now I'm going to place in sales order. For that, I'm going to the sales order page. Now I'm creating a sales order here in Zoho site and using the same account and contact which are available in both direction. Providing all the necessary information for placing and sales order. So I'm choosing the account from here and contact from here. All right, so I have added account and contact name so I can put the due date here. For this synchronization, for this demo purpose, I'm only adding the default details. Apart from this, any extra information, any custom field if you have and you have the API present, we can do the synchronization as well. So here all the addresses uh, are pop-uping here and now moving to the product page. So here under the ordered item page, let me choose our item. So I have chosen this item here. Now I'm going to place this sales order. For that, I'm just saving this sales order. So as you can see, it has been created in Zoho CRM site and here is the ID of the sales order. Now I'm going to the process flow and execute the sales order. As I already have told you that I have set the integration point in automatic mode. So data will get synced automatically from Zoho CRM to Business Central. So now we can quickly go to the Business Central site to check whether the data has successfully synced or not. Now I have opened the server where my NAV or Business Central role tailor client is present. So I'm going to the sales order page from here and find my sales order, which I have synchronized just from Zoho CRM to Business Central site. Let me find with the customer name. So here is the sales order, which I have recently created in Zoho CRM. It's present here. Now let me open this. So as you can see, all the details which I, we have provided for this particular sales order all are here, like, like the line item which we have mentioned shows here. If you scroll down here, 
you can find out the exact ID like the cell sorter ID here. So if I just go to the Zoho site, this is the URL ID. I have just reflected that one and always a duplicate check will be on the top of this ID. So if the order is already present here, it will not synchronize again. So there will be no duplicate scenario at all. So as I mentioned, for the demo purpose, we have mapped only a few information or few details over here. But any extra information, if it is needs to be mapped, we can do that. We hope you have this demo video helpful. Just like Dynamics Business Central, you can connect Zoho CRM with other ERP platform. For example, SAP B1, Sage 300, etc. Also, you can connect your Dynamic Business Central with other CRM, let's say Salesforce. Also, we can connect with different e-commerce, let's say Shopify, Magento, WooCommerce, etc. For more details, please visit our website www.appsignic.com. You can start your integration journey with AppSignic now.